Hi guys, welcome back to Vlog Media. This is again me, Mark, and for today we are going to talk about something quite interesting that created a lot of buzz in the internet quite lately. So yeah, three weeks ago, a OpenAI has tried to launch this new program, AI program, which is the ChatGPT. ChatGPT has created a lot of buzz in the internet to the point that the internet really blew up with ChatGPT videos. So yeah, so I'm quite curious about a few days ago and tried to look what it is. So let's dive in and see what it is actually. Type in Google ChatGPT here and try to open it. Okay, so ChatGPT is actually from OpenAI. It was launched at last November 2022. So we'll click here, try ChatGPT. And if you're not logged in yet, it will ask you to log in, use your Google account. So this is basically ChatGPT. Basically, you can ask about anything. So there's a thing here, like uh, for example, you can you can tell ChatGPT like explain quantum computing in simple terms and all those things. So it's capable of remembering what the user said actually in early conversation. It also allows for the user to, to provide follow-up corrections. And sometimes if the request is quite inappropriate, it might really decline it, which is kind of good. And uh, for the limitations for ChatGPT, sometimes it may try to uh, generate some incorrect information. And uh, yeah, it may produce some, you know, some some biased content. And and ChatGPT is actually limited to, to the events um well after 2021 so it can only answer events 2021 and beyond no and and after and before that so yeah so example you can ask chat gpt so let's say uh how to bake cookies so so yep yeah. so yeah chat gpt will give you an answer in quite a while it can give you the ingredients and it can also tell you what to do next, which is kind of good because it is really like Google. And so it's just like the Google of chatting and it will provide you the answer, which is kind of cool. Yeah. So yeah, so, so right here, it's telling you about how to make cookies. So yeah, it gives you some detail about cookies as well so, yeah. well the good thing about chat gpt is also able to translate different languages to english or to the language you decide to translate it to so let's see right okay let's say uh, uh, translate uh, how are you to spanish there you go como estas so as mentioned uh, chat gpt has some limitations so it's not able to tell you the date, it can't tell you the current time. Also, it can't tell you about the current events because it's only limited to 2021. Also, yesterday I tried to ask ChatGPT to divide zero to divide by zero. And it returned to me like to contact the service provider or something like that. But the thing is that with ChatGPT, it's actually learning itself. So when I went back the next day and tried to say ah, zero divided by zero, and he answered me in this way. So ChatGPT, can you divide zero divided by zero? Yep, so it's kind of reasoning out. But yesterday when I tried to 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 ask ChatGPT about this, it gave me a red response such as like contact service provider. So I think ChatGPT is, is able to machine learn itself within a short period of time. It's able to reason out because I asked a kind of weird question yesterday, but it was able to reason out on why it was a on why it was not able to do so. Yeah, but let's try to hear what Siri's reasoning is. So let's ask Siri. Hey Siri, can you divide zero by zero? If nothing is divided by nothing then there's nothing to divide, or divide it with, and the division never happened. So my answer is, no. All right, that's what Siri said. All right. Yeah, so what's my verdict with ChatGPT? ChatGPT is all right. Uh, I think uh, it depends on how the users will use it, but one thing is that um, it, can, it has a lot of things. So, I mean, shall we be scared with ChatGPT? Probably not, because it's like a tool. It will not probably supersede us because it doesn't have emotions. It can't talk to us. It just can't provide information depending on what the time, on, on when or when it was programmed. Uh, I think it has a lot of users, but I can't think of 
a lot, but there will be probably a lot in the coming days. Uh, also, uh, the thing I'm worrying about is what if it gave the wrong information or if what if chat, uh, chat GPT can be hacked by some people and uh, give some wrong information. That's my only take there. But, but I think it's, it's a cute thing <laughs> and it's the start of the AI. So I think the future is here. So yeah. So again, if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe. And yeah, if you have some any ideas about chat GPT or anything like that, please comment down below. And follow me on the next video. See you. See ya. Bye.